When I look at somebody who was traveling, suppose, about 100 years ago uh, in a ship, uh, would have a different kind of experience than somebody who was uh, from a race which was more acceptable at that time. It's something you likely haven't seen. An exhibition commemorating the sacrifice of the Sikh community made during World Wars I and II, a history which traditionally hasn't been celebrated by Canadians. These were the negative uh, kind of times if we uh, look at race-wise, faith-wise, uh, so, and plus the pressure of the World Wars. I think there was tons going on at that time. But still they fought for the British Empire, for Canada. The stories are as interesting as they are incredible, like the first Sikh fighter pilot in World War I, Hardit Singh Malik. For his autobiography, the interesting piece is the foreword uh, says, I consider it a privilege to write the foreword to the memoirs of an old and valued friend, H.S. Mollick. My friendship with the author goes back long years. During World War I, we were both officers in the Royal Flying Corps in which he served with such distinction. A few years later, we found ourselves as students together at Oxford University. And what's fascinating is that if I were to ask you to take a guess of who his best friend and fellow Oxford student is, I'm sure you would have no idea that it was none other than Lester B. Pearson. A lot's changed in the last 100 years, but sometimes that change has come slowly. As recently as a few decades ago, Sikh veterans and serving members wearing turbans weren't allowed inside the Canadian Legion. This is the time to repair those cracks. This is the time to basically come back as Canadians because that is so, so important. Because if we can't provide knowledge, then we cannot blame someone for not accepting us. Which is why exhibitions like this running at Calgary's Military Museum this weekend are so important. If we can make people knowledgeable about the contributions, especially from the Sikh religion, uh, there would be a better acceptance. And a welcome sight for these veterans. It is a good effort uh, that uh, the old unsung soldier. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.